Biomine is uh, an acronym for uh, Swedish Center for Biomimetic Fiber Engineering. And the uh, main mission of the center is basically to understand how plant cell walls are built and to uh, exploit this information to make new materials with uh, improved properties and performance, higher performance. So we are a very multidisciplinary center where we cover lots of aspects from the most biological aspects, how uh, a plant tissue differentiates, how a cell wall bil is built, to the uh, most uh, uh, mechanical and material science aspect. And in between we cover a whole range of areas, uh, biochemistry, chemistry, surface chemistry, uh, surface modification, material design, and the test of the material properties. I think the uh, importance of having a, a research school associated to the center is obvious because uh, the research we are doing in the center is the future of uh, a number of industries uh, and uh, it's important to have this research school associated to the center because by this way we form, uh, we train the future researchers in the area that can then support uh, a number of industries in a very uh, broad a range of activities. Originally I'm a biochemist, uh, so I uh, study the structure and function of molecules and uh, more particularly within Biomime I'm involved in uh, studying cellulose biosynthesis and cell wall uh, biosynthesis in general. So carbohydrates formation, polymerization and how these carbohydrates assemble in the cell wall and provide the physical and mechanical properties that we can then use for applications. I don't come from Sweden originally, uh, but I've been working in this area for many years, and that's actually one of the reasons why I was uh, recruited in the context of this center. Uh, I think uh, we have here in Sweden a unique uh, um, context with a, a lot of industries related to carbohydrate materials and their applications. I mean, the most of use is the forest industry and all the derived products from the forest industries. And what we are trying to do in the center is to uh, develop materials with novel functionalities and novel properties so that the products from the forest industry can have a higher added value and uh, can be applied to different sectors as well than just the traditional sectors of pulp and paper, uh, for instance. The center is quite uh, international, uh, both in terms of activities, research activities, but also in terms of personnel. Uh, in, in, for instance, in one of the divisions associated to the center, uh, we have about 50% of personnel coming from abroad, and this includes PhD students and postdoctoral fellows. And each uh, a principal investigator, each scientist in the center, has also an international uh, network and interacts a lot with many uh, groups around Europe, but also around the world. We have lots of programs, bilateral programs, for instance, with Japan, we have lots of interactions with uh, research groups in the United States and also multiple uh, networking interactions within Europe. For instance, we have uh, research networks in which we are involved, which uh, comprise up to 22, 23 different partners, including partners from industry and uh, uh, different uh, research laboratories with complementary expertise to ours. So it's a very dynamic structure and uh, we basically interact a lot, a lot, and that's a key. Multidisciplinarity and uh, international collaboration is a key to the success of this type of activities and this is quite unique uh, actually uh, at the moment. One of the model systems that we use are tobacco plants which are very useful for instance to understand where a given protein is located in the cell and for that we can tag the protein with a fluorescent tag that we can later on detect in the leaves of the plant. And we have this genetic model which is called Arabidopsis and here we are uh, collecting seeds of these plants and we use Arabidopsis as a genetic model to study the function of key genes. What you can do for instance is inactivate genes or, on the, or the other way around overexpress genes in the plant and then we look at what we call the phenotype which is how the plant is affected by the genetic modification. And by analyzing this phenotype, we can then understand the function of the genes and the corresponding protein. 
And this is very useful information to understand again cell wall formation and cell wall metabolism. The, the, the center started actually in 2006 and uh, it's a new, completely new constellation of researchers that were uh, put together owing to their different background which are at the same time very complementary and um, as an essence of this uh, fruitful multidisciplinary collaboration there are already a few innovations that have uh, come out of the center uh, activities. Uh, for instance, we have used uh, uh, bacterial cellulose to make stronger uh, films than what you get with uh, normal cellulose from plant cell walls. So that's one application. You can get very strong uh, material. Uh, another success story which had started a bit before the beginning of the center but which has taken a lot more space thanks to the center is the use of an enzyme to uh, modify cellulosic substrates and add uh, different types of groups with many potential applications. This enzyme is called xyloglucan and transglycosylase and it has uh, a great potential to modify cellulosic surfaces for a wide range of applications in different sectors from the biomedical sector uh, including for instance microsurgery, wound healing, down to uh, uh, modification of surfaces of paper with functional groups. So there's a very, very broad range of activities and a number of products are already even being commercialized. So this instrument is called the GCMS, abbreviated for Gas Chromatography uh, Mass Spectrometry. And it's an instrument that you can use to analyze a wide uh, variety of molecules. And our main application here is to analyze the structure of uh, carbohydrates from uh, plant cell walls, for instance. And we determine, for instance, what type of sugars make these carbohydrates and how these sugars are linked together. So this instrument is used to separate derivatives of sugars and determine, uh, uh, identify these derivatives using the mass spectrometry part. So the gas chromatography is to separate the molecules and the mass spectrometer gives information about the structure and identity. This instrument is a mass uh, spectrometer coupled to a liquid chromatography system. So this part is the liquid chromatography system and then the mass spectrometer itself is this machine here. And we use this instrument a lot to identify proteins involved in cell wall biosynthesis in particular, cell wall remodeling, cell wall uh, uh, hydrolysis, the metabolism of cell wall. And this instrument is a key instrument to uh, identify uh, key proteins involved in these different biological events. So we use the liquid chromatography to first purify separate proteins or peptides and the uh, separated molecules are then injected in the mass spectrometer which measures the mass of the protein uh, uh, and is a good tool to um, get information about the sequence of the protein, their identity and from this kind of information we can then search databases using the uh, computer and this helps to uh, identify the function of key proteins involved in the processes we're working on. The seminar series we have uh, uh, in the context of Biomime are held every fortnight and this is a very important forum for our students but also for the senior researchers to have a multidisciplinary uh, interaction. So we regularly uh, have speakers from within Biomime but also speakers from outside Biomime, international speakers occasionally that uh, present lectures on specific areas which are related to our activities and this is a very uh, important uh, series of seminars for the, for the students and uh, to provide them with background in a wide range of disciplines and also for the researcher. It's a good forum to stimulate even further activities. The future is obviously to continue and strengthen this multidisciplinarity, eventually by bringing new partners and also to open our activities to a wider range of industries by multiplying the number of applications. And with the type of substrate we work, we have almost an unlimited uh, potential in terms of application in a very broad range of sectors. I mentioned before the biomedical sector, and you can go to the uh, chemistry, uh, physical chemistry, materials, composite, nanocomposites, etc., etc. Lots, lots, lots of potential.